Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. If you knew how many times I tried to ignite just a cotton ball without any filler, you'd be surprised that I'd even want to continue trying. Uh, I thought since this table is so hot, it's probably 140 degrees, that I'd go ahead and waste one more cotton ball. So this is kind of a cheat. I would not be able to include myself into the few people on the planet that have been able to make an unfilled cotton fire roll ignite. But I want to see if it makes a difference. Strange thing about it is, even if I do get an ignition, it's not going to be a strong enough ember to ignite tinder. I'll still have to transfer this over into something, some kind of coal extender like punkwood. And sort of doesn't make sense because we already know if I'd have just started off using punkwood as a filler, I'd have had a viable fire roll that could ignite these leaves over here. So, an exercise in futility maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Usually you can see what looks like smoke coming off of these fire rolls, but it's actually just moisture off gassing. And then when you tear into them, you see a little bit of darkening, but really not the kind of charring you would expect from a 100% cotton fire roll uh, about to go to flames. About to ignite, I mean. So, let's give it a try on this 140 degree tabletop, which is going to help the moisture come out of this cotton, and it might make the difference. Now usually that's always been just the moisture coming out of the cotton. Let's see if it really is ignited. And I've tried to double fire roll them also. We'll try one more time. Like this is very hot right here. There might be, there might be an ignition on the inside. Okay, so now we, this is the first time out of hundreds and hundreds of cotton balls that I've made just an unfilled fire roll ignite. But like I say, that is not going to be a hot enough ember to ignite these leaves. This feels like it might have an ember in the middle of this one too. Yeah. So maybe I should have torn into them over all these years. Uh, so the next thing will be like tomorrow morning or later on today when shade cools off this table to see if I can do it without a 140 degree table. And I picked up this punk wood straight off the ground. So now that I'm breaking it up, I can feel that there is moisture in it.
get over here in the shade and we'll use this concrete as a bottom board. some more because that concrete outside was so rough that it was eating up the fire roll and this is a whole lot smoother hard we roll it this way to try to loosen it so whoa that's that's really hot that might be ignited This one is smoking. Let's give it a chance. I'm sweating. Sweating all over the floor. Oh, here's one that's smoking. I thought that felt pretty hot. So you can do it without a 140 degree table. Good. As usual, you want to build as big of ember as possible before you put it in the hobo stove.
Well, that's a first for me. I can't tell you how many total hours I've wasted trying to make that happen. And uh, hundreds of cotton balls for sure. And every different kind of variation you can think of. But it does work.